Keyword XP looks for keywords that people are actually searching for right now. And these are long tail keywords that come from the, the Google Suggests database. And these are the, the keywords that are actually trending within a month and not historical data. And so these keywords are actually very, very current. So all you do is type in a, a seed keyword. You need to keep this as short as possible. So for example, if I type in WordPress um, and then ask it to come back with suggestions, and then if I click on search, then instantly it comes back with all the top keywords for the seed keyword WordPress. But it doesn't stop there. What you can also ask it to do is instead of just searching over suggestions, search over alphabetical as well. So this time I can come back with a load more keywords where it's actually looked through the alphabet and seen what begins with WordPress P, WordPress Q, WordPress H, and it's come back with these even longer tail keywords. Now, what you can also do is with any of these keywords, you can select uh, a group or all of them, and you can ask it to see what the Google Trends data is for each of these words. And what is really interesting about that is it will tell you then whether you're actually coming back uh, and looking at a keyword that's actually trending um, as opposed to declining. Now, every time you click the Trends button, it will come back with another five charts. And as these come back, you'll be able to see straight away whether these are interesting words for you to look at or not. Now, not only will it look over Google in the US, you can actually select different data centers around the world. So you can actually look at it, Italy, Netherlands, Mexico, for example. Um, and that's specific where you're actually searching for specific language keywords and looking for long tail keywords from that seed. Now, where we're also taking Keyword XP for version two, apart from adding in the trends feature, we're also enabling it so that you can search over not only Google, and Amazon, but also Bing and eBay and Ask and YouTube. So I can actually type in WordPress and search directly over YouTube database for all the types of video keywords that people might be looking for. And picking on any of those keywords, I can then go back to say Google and by double clicking on any keyword, it will drill further into that keyword and come back with all the closest matches. So once you have some good uh, keyword data, then what you can do obviously is examine the trends uh, to see whether you've got a trending keyword. And by clicking on um, any of these chart, it will actually take you straight to the uh, Google page where you can drill and see a bit more detail um, about those trending keywords. Okay, so literally clicking on any of those will do that. Now, lastly, um, what you can do is check the uh, title and URL competition for uh, for these keywords and it's best to do these in batches of uh, you know five at a time so that uh, you don't sort of overload Google um, and literally by clicking a few words you click check competition here and it will go out and it will give you an indication of the title and URL competition uh, for those keywords. And then whenever it comes back um, with anything with a, a low competition uh, value, then it highlights those uh, two keywords in green. So lastly, you can copy any uh, keywords straight into your clipboard or you can export them into a, a CSV file. So if you want to cross check any data with the Google AdWords uh, tool or the Google keyword tool, then uh, we make it very, very easy to do so. So in summary, Keyword XP enables you to grab suggested data from Google, Amazon, Bing, eBay, Ask, and YouTube. You can drill down through any seed keyword, expanding as you go through. You can look across data centers. You can search through suggested and alphabetical, and you can examine the trends of any keyword and give you an, an indication of uh, the competition for any keyword. So that's Keyword XP.